Welcome to another interior real estate photography tutorial. My name is Joe Gustafson. I am a full-time real estate photographer. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to properly light a scene when you have mixed light going on. So the living room that I'm about to show you, this image right here, we have natural light coming in, the lights were off, and in the distance, as you can see, we had orange tungsten lighting for the kitchen in the background. So I'm going to show you a simple way, if you follow my formula step by step, on how to evenly light this, get a beautifully lit image. So let's get into Lightroom right now. So here we are in Lightroom, and this is the first image. This is my ambient layer. I haven't done anything to this image. I'm going to show you how I process this initially to get these ready to go into Photoshop where the magic happens where all, with our, all our flash pops. Okay, so the first thing I wanna do, come up here, profile, just change that to standard. And a lot of these, what you can do is just create an initial preset. I have those for certain lenses, but for this particular lens, since I don't use it a whole lot, I don't, and I'm talking about the uh, Olympus 9 to 18 millimeter f4 to 5.6 and i was on f4 for those of you who are not familiar with my shooting i'm shooting on micro four thirds this is basically like shooting in an 18 millimeter at f8 so uh, i might want to bump the shadows up just a little bit and drop the highlights slightly just to try to give it some more dynamic range open up those highlights and shadows and then i want to come down here and just check enable profile corrections it's already built in so it didn't do anything it tells you right there if it has the correct lens and it does recognize it and that is it i wait and do the uh verticals and all that stuff at the very end so i'm just going to sit here and copy and copy and then i'm going to move to my next image which is the flash above the camera which i always do and then i click paste and now i'm actually going to bring this exposure way up i undershot this just kind of in a hurry so which is fine you know with flash we're able to I'm pulling this almost two stops above and it's not introducing any noise or anything it's not real grainy maybe some noise in the back but again I'm not using every part of this image I'm only using the bright spots of the image so we can see that it's still very clean okay so we're just going to copy those settings again because I want to try to stay consistent. So what is this flash pop? This is the flash pop left of the camera. This is how I'm lighting this space, lighting this living room. And then I'm going to move to the right side and then paste those settings in, brighten that up. Let's go to the far room. So now what I'm doing is I'm overpowering this light. So if you could see, let me go back. It's hard to see in this image. Let me do this one. Really what I'm doing is I brought my exposure or my shutter speed up until the window view was clean and that light was not blown out. So with the lights on, you have to battle two hot spots with your the reason why you're controlling it. First of all, you want to control color. So you're lighting the room evenly, which is going to reveal what the true color of the wall is, the furniture, carpet, so on. But you're also um, combating the hot spots which is are your window views and any lights that are on now i'm normally a lights off shooter but the realtor this particular realtor loves the lights on and so this is how i do it this is how i fight against that so to so to speak okay so let me paste these settings in we brighten that right up nice and then we come to this image this is i'm just popping a flash here and then i moved over behind and popped a flash there so would this image be able to work on its own? It might, but there's a little hot spot there. We'll just bring them all in. So I'm just holding down command and clicking on each one of these, right clicking, edit in, open as layers in Photoshop. All right, once all your layers have been loaded into Photoshop, the first thing we wanna do is select the top one and then hold down shift and then select the bottom one. Come up here to edit, auto align layers and hit okay. And yes, you can do an action for this and I probably should, that's gonna speed up my workflow, it'll speed up your workflow if you do that. Anytime you can use an action where you're doing the same thing over and over again, create an action for it. Super duper simple, I'll have a tutorial on that, there's plenty out there already. But this is what we wanna do now. Now that we have our layers aligned, we want to get our side-by-side -side flash composites 
into one image so we can you know make this simplify this process so if you shot this in this order the order that i did they're going to bring they're going to come into photoshop in this order ambient on top flash pop above the camera left and right and then if the, the room's big enough or long enough left and right in the far room or you know another room or in the back of the room so let's toggle off the ambient layer we don't need that let's toggle off the flash pop above the camera right now we don't need that now we're going to work on this layer and this layer making this one image so what we want to do is select this image create a layer mask command i to invert it make sure white is selected we're going to use our gradient tool and just start moving that gradient until we blend ourselves out of there that looks pretty good to me right there so now what I want to do is I want to highlight both of these holding down command, clicking on that, and we're going to right click and then merge layers. So that becomes one image right there. So now we can toggle this one off for now to work on merging these two images right here. Same concept. Create a layer mask, command I to invert it, and gradient tool. And this one isn't going to need much actually we don't want to even do much let me i'm just command z to undo that i want to start way over here that's it that's all i want to do and i'm going to merge these two and now i'm going to turn this one back on and actually what i want to do is actually we'll change this to lighten mode that should work and now we go with the flash pop above the camera and actually, before we do that, we can adjust the opacity if you want to. Yeah, that looks a little bright. So let's tone it down to about 85%. Let's turn the flash pop above the camera on and hit that with lighten mode. Let's see what that does. Brightens up the foreground. Let's bring that to like, let's see. Controlling your light. You control every aspect of the image when you control the light. All right, and now we can turn the ambient layer back on, hit it with luminosity. That even helps us. And now we can, that actually looks pretty good, doesn't it? But let's drop that opacity down to about 50%. Let's create a layer mask, leave it white, black, select it over here. And now we take our brush tool. I like my flow at 5%. And I'm just using the right bracket on my keyboard. Make that bigger. I'm going to paint back in the flash where I want it. Usually it's in the windows. And if you did this right, we can paint in here to get some more flash color in that kitchen to help with that those color casts. That's a beautiful thing about using flash and actually in using light mode because I can spill over into here and it doesn't matter because I have my image underneath is really nicely lit anyway but if you mess up you can just paint back in some natural light there and there we go let me flatten this image we're gonna bring it into Lightroom I'll show you the last step okay and the last step I'm gonna do is hit it with my interior final bump and again if you've seen any of my other tutorials you know what I do I'm just dropping those highlights a little bit maybe bump the shadows uh, sometimes I bring the contrast up in this, but today I don't want to. But I do want to hold down Option and then slide that black slider. It just gives it a nice rich look. Sometimes what I like to do is just come up here, take the uh, sharpening up, even the radius and the detail way up, maybe mask it in a little bit. You can hold down Option again. This mask tells you what parts. The white is the part that's are getting sharpened and the black is not so you can mask that out but that helps a lot check your verticals i already make sure vertical is within the you know verticals are checked with my interior final bump and then last step since we had to align those layers we're just going to do a slight crop on this just to eliminate that border that was showing when we did the uh, auto align and there you go folks there's the final image so leave me a comment below if you have any questions or concerns and hit that thumbs up button hit that subscribe button we got tutorials coming out all the time for you thanks for watching